Welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM, and it's time to head into Kanga Land. The head Kanga joins me on the line, Caitlin Vine. Great to be with you again, Caitlin. How are you doing? Thank you. Good to be back for another week. It is good to be chatting with you, and well, we had some controversy go on last week. I think that is an understatement. Gee, Caitlin, what a moment in time this was, and uh, you might look back on this as the season progresses and think what if, but for the Orion United A grade up against South Mildura, we had just the most dramatic finish to a game that you could imagine. So a a goal that stood which shouldn't have stood, that's at least the point of view that you're going to give us. Uh, so just tell us more about exactly how on earth this went down for the Orion United A grade side who should have won the four points. Yeah, look, it uh, it was a fantastic game to watch, Orion versus South. Um, a very competitive game with some beautiful plays from both both ends. Uh, it was great to see our Orion side really starting to gel and, and do some great things. Uh, we did have a few changes around throughout the quarters, but um, we're really happy where we were. Uh, a couple of goals up in the last quarter and probably just let ourselves slide a little bit, got a little bit too comfortable and it got quite tight towards the end of the game. So um, it was very heated. Uh, we were watching the score very closely in the time and the ball got down to the south end they shot the goal uh as the siren went uh the the ball uh, the goal wasn't scored so the the umpire called time and said no goal but uh there was a bit of miscommunication there and uh in terms of the scoreboard and the scorebook it was passed as a goal so there was a very heated discussion uh between the two teams uh and the officials about the game and uh unfortunately for us at the end of that it was decided that it was a draw so very very disappointing for us uh it was definitely a win that we really needed to to progress in our season uh obviously a draw we still get the two points but it it was really devastating for the girls who'd worked hard uh obviously this is just one of those things that happens in in netball um there's lots of rules and uh we have to abide by them and we're not a we're not a club who uh would act in a way uh that would go against our values so you know in the end we just had to sit sit back and say look it's happened it is what it is so um it was a a good reflection of our resilience um obviously very disheartening for everyone but two points at least Kaylin, it's all good and well to say that you're gonna act in a classy manner and just cop it on the chin but you've got to fire up at some point surely and uh you know i just wonder did people not take this further i mean is there a stipulation somewhere that says that the umpires definitely don't have the final jurisdiction here. I mean, it's a it seems pretty blunderous, to be honest. I mean, if the umpires called a, a no goal and uh, the scorers have awarded it, then surely, you know, we've got to be up in arms here. Yeah, it, it is a tough one. I, I know that the, the rule book was bought out at one point. Um, my view is that, is that the umpires are, are the boss and, and what they say goes. But I think, unfortunately, in the moment, there was just too many heads uh, involved uh, and it made it a little bit messy. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it is. We did fight hard for it. Uh, at the end of the day, if it's what's written in the book, it is what it is. That's the Bible. So we go by it. And um, as I mentioned, we're proud of how we how we approach the situation. Um and we, we hold our heads high and we move into the next week. Spill milk for now, but I'll tell you what, if you miss out on finals by a few points come the end of the season, there's going to be people sharpening their pitchforks. But we'll move along. Caitlin, just tell us about how some of the other sides got on. We had some good results for our other OEN United Kangas teams, I gather. Yeah, uh, after that, that game that certainly put a fire in our belly and B-grade came out firing. We had a fantastic team game uh, and managed to finally come out with another win, so that was very exciting. Uh, Maggie Smith, uh, our young gun, had an absolutely sensational game in DK. They just could not get the ball past her. She's got arms for days, picked up lots of intercepts and lots of rebounds, so um, I was her buddy in goal defence and I had a pretty cruisy day. I feel like I just watched her star all day, which was nice. Um, so a great win for the B grade. Our C grade also had a fantastic win, um, quite a close game in the end. So that was great for our team there. And I know C Res 
didn't get the win, but um, were really happy with their score and had a really good team game. So our juniors are getting closer and closer every week. I know um, it is difficult for them to feel like they're losing every week and, and not, uh, you know, not getting that winning feeling, but they're doing a great job and, and they'll get there. Oh, it sounds like you were that untested in the B grade. You were just smoking cigars back there, Caitlin. When are we going to see you back in the A grade? <laughs> I'm pretty comfortable in the old B grade. Uh, it's a lot of fun and, yeah, I, I'm loving being able to play with these juniors and uh, some of my good mates and have a really good hit out in, in B grade. A little bit less stressful for me, but, um, yeah, always love an opportunity when I can get it, but loving watching that A grade as well. There's just so many stars in that team. There we go. All right, well, let's move on, Caitlin. Just uh, bring us up to speed on how things are looking standing-wise for the A grade. Uh, So we're off the mark at least. We're accumulating points now. What do things look like across Sunraysia Nepal? Yeah, so uh, obviously we've got Wentworth on top. Uh, on Wenty, uh, but also on the same amount of points is Muldura. So Muldura have had a fantastic season. Um, five wins for both of them. I assume they must be coming up against each other soon to see who's the, the top dog. Uh, closely followed by Irimple on 16, South on 14. So that's our top four. Merbein on 12, Imperial 6, Robinvale 4, and then Orion 2 and Redcliffe 2. Okay, let's look at the fixtures this weekend. Wentworth up against Irimple. Now, can our Rimple at least give Wentworth a game here? Because you did just mention there that they do uh, comprise of the top four sides right now. So are we going to see Wentworth break a few sweats here, Kaylin, or not really? I think it'll be great uh, for Wentworth to get get some of those top four teams and, and have a bit of a crack. I think uh, Wentworth will win, but I, I'm looking forward to seeing if I Rimple can, uh, I guess, dare them a little bit, uh, make them work hard for their their money. So I think Wentworth will get the win, but I think I Rimple will close the margin. All right. Your mob up against Robin Vale Houston, you must be pretty fired up and raring to go to make sure that the four points is secured this time round because uh, it's not the hardest of teams that you're going to be up against. But of course, given the nature of the start of the season that you've had, you're going to be pretty wary of the fact that anything could happen at any time. So I'm sure as much as you'll be uh, wanting to really get stuck in here, the girls will be very cautious about not getting too confident or too complacent against Robin Vale Houston. 100%. Hundred uh, percent. I think we've been burnt in the past. Sometimes you go into a game quite confident, um, and that means you don't play at your best. But I think not just in A grade, but across all of our grades, um, it'll be really important for us to all go in with a level, strong head and a team head. Uh, I know that Robin Bale are, are great netballers, um, but they're also very strong at the mental game. So uh, we want to make sure that we don't get sucked into uh, whatever type of game they're trying to play and just play our own game. Well, the mind games coming out in Sunrise Netball. I absolutely love it. Imperials, they host Merbein. Who gets up in this one, Kaylin? I think Merbein will be strong in this one. Uh, I just think that they're just a great team that's gelling well together, so hopefully they get that win. Well, no doubting you're going to go Mildura up against Red Cliffs. You would think it's going to be a fairly foregone conclusion, this one, Kaylin? Absolutely. I think Mildura will just run away with a, a comfortable win. South Mildura with the bye. Caitlin Vine, that's where we'll leave it. Thanks so much for your time. And good luck on the weekend in what will be another important weekend for the club. We'll speak to you next week. Take it easy. Thanks so much. Go Kangas.